All right, what's up everybody and welcome to unboxing in the dungeon and cheers as always ah, Got a nice Lagunitas hop stupid ale. It's quite delicious. I like to drink the nice uh, heavy or beers once in a while, you know get some flavor in there All right, well Got something in the mail recently. Decided to do a video on it because I got a couple things to say about the, uh, the game series it's from. Uh, all right, here she is. Let's go ahead and open her up. Won't need the uh, great knife tonight, <laughs> or the great sword. Let's see what we got here. Wow. That is some really good condition this thing is in, man. Very happy with the way this looks. That's quite amazing. So there we go. We got Resident Evil 2 for Nintendo 64. And just look at the condition this thing's in. It's almost as if it's like he made this case and somehow preserved these stickers or reprinted them. Because this is just like way too nice to be the original case. I don't believe it. Look at that. Everything is just 100% brand new looking. It even smells brand new. <laughs> yeah, well, Resident Evil. All right, that's a game series that I've been quite a big fan of for quite some time. You know, I don't often talk about it very much because uh, I, I don't play the games very much, and to be honest with you, I've never been able to complete any of them except for uh, Resident Evil 7, I believe, was the first-person shooter one. That was that one was great, I thought. It was a pretty good throwback, you know, homage to the older games because of its atmosphere and, like, the whole house thing and whatnot. That's actually back when I bought this shirt was when the seventh game was released. I was pretty impressed with it, and it... It actually made me want to play through the first game, and I I did my best. I bought the uh, HD remake that's up there on Steam, and I didn't get very far. I got somewhere in the house where you got to find some kind of uh, musical score to play on the piano, I think. And I had a hard time finding that. <laughs> Gave up after a while and just went back to Quake, because that's usually what happens anytime I stray away from the arena. But, um... Yeah, the reason I bought this is because, uh, well, I've actually had this on my wish list for <laughs> quite a while. Let's say this might have been on my Amazon wish list for about 10 years, okay? Like, I was, yeah, like probably about 15 around the time I decided that I wanted this for the N64. And um, just recently got around to buying it, fi found a decent priced one on eBay, which I'm pretty sure this is like some kind of recreation of the case because it's very nice smells brand new everything looks brand new but um because I, I bought a super nintendo cartridge of mortal kombat 2 where it was like a fan-made cartridge but it had the original game <laughs> kind of think this is what this is but uh because of the the remake the new resident evil 2 that just came out recently you know i've been hearing a, a lot about it i've seen a lot of videos it looks really cool you know that this fresh new shiny game of this old ass game but i've heard a lot of mixed things and i'm not too sure what to think about it you know and just the thought of spending $60 on a game that I'm have mixed feelings about I don't think I'm gonna do that I'll probably wait till it goes on a big sale or something dude, where it's like 50% off or more you know but so I said fuck it I'm not gonna buy that game yet I'll go ahead and get the original for uh, the platform I've always wanted it on and hopefully I'll have a good time with it. I've heard very good things about this port uh, in specific the Resident Evil 2 for N64. People say it's a really good port and it plays very well on there, on the system, and because of the, the creepy graphics of the N64, you know, everything's blurry and kind of foggy looking. It kind of go meshes really well. But, um, yeah, I'm hoping it's pretty cool. Uh, but back to the remake, I, there's a couple things I wanted to cover there. Um, so, when the Resident Evil 2 remake was originally announced, I was under the impression that it was like an exact replica 
of the original Resident Evil 2 game. But, you know, with modern graphics and that modern engine that they use. But apparently it's not that entirely. It's kind of like its own game based off of Resident Evil 2. I've heard things about the story changing. I've heard things about, you know, levels are drastically different because of the, the engine and advancements that they made with all the graphics and shit. Now, I've never really sat there and watched gameplay because I've just it just hasn't caught my attention after hearing some of the mixed reviews, so I figured I'd go back and revisit the original, see how I like this, and then check out, you know, look into uh, the remake further. So, I mean, shit, if you want to drop in the comments if you've already played the remake, let me know if it's worth it, you know, if it's any good. Let me know your experience with Resident Evil 2 in general. I actually... <laughs> It's a funny story, I've only played this game one time, and it was on a PSP that I had uh, hacked to put a custom firm firmware on, so I had a homebrew port of Resident Evil 2. So, I wasn't able to get past the first level because it would it would glitch out and freeze my PSP, because so, probably a bad download or something, but that was my only experience with it. I'm uh, really looking forward to popping this in and playing it. I wish I could provide some video for that, but unfortunately, as of right now, I don't have any hardware to provide means of that, and I'm not going to put my camera up to the fucking CRT television and record. So until then, I'm just going to do videos about talking about these older games, and hopefully in the future invest in some hardware so I can actually record. But uh, yeah, that concludes our video for tonight. A little more on the shorter end, but I just had to throw my interest in Resident Evil out there for everybody to know, and possibly talk about and give me some insight on whether or not this new game is worth it so yeah that'll do it for tonight i'll catch you next time in the dungeon cheers and thanks for stopping by